Um, wanted to show you guys what I have. Um, I'm in my bedroom, which is a weird place for me to go over what I'm talking about, which is like all of my bathroom stuff. But our bathroom has a really loud fan that you can't turn off. And so I need to show you all these things in my room. <laughs> Um, but so we're, I'm going to show you guys what different products I use on a daily basis from Norwex that is for like, you know, showering, uh, cleansing your body, your face, uh, teeth brushing, the things that I use on a daily basis. So it's not everything that's in the catalog, but it's the things that I use every day or my family. So, um, to start, these are pretty common cloths. And this is the body cloth. These come in a pack of three. There's a couple different options of colors. Um, they say body cloth right on them. And the texture is pretty um, similar to like the towels and um, it's, they're super soft. So that's really nice, obviously. <laughs> um, this is what I use to clean my face and sometimes my whole body in the shower. I don't use soap with it. This is Norwex Microfiber with um, the Micro Silver Backlock. And it is picking up, because the microfiber is so tiny, it is picking up all the dirt, dead skin, um, you know, whatever's on my skin from the day. It's picking all that up and leaving my skin feeling really fresh. Um, with that, I always follow my skin up with a lotion or an oil. Um, I use this one I got a while ago. This is uh, the Lysir or Lysir, Lysir. <laughs> I'm not sure how you say it, but this is uh, one of Norwex's uh, products. And I use this in combination with um, uh, another um, product that would be more, it's not a Norwex product. It's more of a, like a lotion-ish type thing. Um, so I do that because the reason uh, you want to do that is because this is going to take off everything on your face. Honestly, um, you can take makeup off with this too. Um, or again, recommend doing this with co or getting it wet with cold water because that's going to open up the fibers and allow it to pick up as much as it possibly can. And then um, when you're done using it, then you want to rinse it with as hot a water as your hands can handle. And then that will release everything that's within the cloth. But because you're picking, you're cleaning your skin really well, your skin is going to need moisture. And so I usually put mo uh, moisture on my face with the oil or the um, lo cool balm lotion that I have. Um, and that is what I use right after I get out of the shower while my face is still wet so that it has, um, it's able to suck in that moisture. So... Um, these you can wash with the rest of your Norwex stuff. Um, they come in a pack of three, so that's super nice. You want to use them for like two to three days. And that is probably the max amount you're going to want to use them. If you're a huge worker person who works out, then you're probably going to want to use them one or two days because, um, although they do, they're not going to get stinky and smelly, um, as long as you're caring for them appropriately, but they, you, they just, they do get, they're picking up all that gross stuff. And if you're not, you know, rinsing them properly and everything, um, they just need to be laundered more frequently because of all the nastiness that's on our bodies. So, so that is the body cloth. This is the makeup remover cloth is what they call it. The texture is completely different. Um, this is more of a suede texture versus this is like a soft towel texture. I don't know, but you can see the difference here. Um, and this says face on it, and this is going to be great for removing. It's more sent or for like, if you have super sensitive skin, this is going to be like softer on your face to remove that makeup. Um, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I still, I have these <laughs> just in case. Um, and it's super easy to have, um, get the makeup out of them. A little hack is if you have the Norwex laundry detergent, keep a little bit, even like a spice, um, like a, sh a spice shaker, seasoner, season shaker, like an empty can, a little thing with holes on top, <laughs> put some of the powder, um, detergent in there. And then as you're rinsing this out, 
cold water first, rinse it out under hot water. You can take a little bit of that detergent, sprinkle it on here and scrub, scrub it like this under the hot water. And you're going to clean it like before having to launder it. So it's going to last a lot, a long time. And you're going to be able to get that uh, makeup off of here before using it again. So you can use it multiple times. Um, this is the facial exfoliating mitt. This little guy is fantastic. Um, it has a pretty rough texture on this side. And then the other texture is like that suede texture of a makeup cloth. You just slide your hand in here. I use this in the shower. It has a little hook to hang it. Um, and this is what I exfoliate my face with. It's phenomenal. You don't want, you want it to be gentle because it is actually pretty exfoliating. Um, I love that I'm not having to buy another additional product that consistently that isn't my exfoliator. This is all I use and I use it on the back of my arms because I sometimes get like weird roughage, rough roughage, oh dear lord, weird bumps and stuff on the back of my arm. Um, so this is really awesome for that and it's really great for exfoliating your chest too. You just want to be gentle, especially if you have sensitive skin because it is, it can be really harsh if you're pressing hard. Um, I use this three-ish times a month or week, three-ish times a week, um, and then I wash it weekly. So I do have two of these now, but I haven't always had two. So um, this is uh, newer. This is probably my newest product that I have in my home, and <laughs> this is the body scrub mitt, and it is phenomenal. So your hand. So I'll show you. This is like the body cloth texture. So this is the part that has the micro silver in it. This is the part that's going to clean and pick up all the dirt and debris and dead skin off of your body. This is the side. It has a little bit of a like a scrubbiness to it. You know, you're not going to be able to tell because it's it looks like just clear, but this is actually very textured. It's not as exfoliating as the exfoliating mitt, but it I would say I would consider it an exfoliator. So you just slide your hand in here and it's just scrub all over wherever you need to clean. And, um, and it's really, really nice. I actually bought this for um, Marshall and he cannot fit his hand in here. So there is a fair warning. Um, it is kind of a smaller um, hole to be able to get your whole hand in. I can fit my hand fine and I have pretty big hands for a woman, but Marshall does not. So he cannot use this. So I get to use it and I love it very much. So that's really cool. Um, and this is just going to be, you're going to follow all the same care that you would as the rest of the microfibers. You want to um, start under cold water. If you're in the shower, totally fine. Understandable. Um, I don't rinse it on, or I don't start under cold water. Um, but you do want to rinse it under warm water to get all that stuff out of there. It has a little thing to hang with. And you just hang it to dry. I wash it once a week. I usually alternate between, you know, one of these, one of these, depending on how nasty I am. So, um, this is an odd situation. I lied before. This is my newest product. And I am still building feelings on it. <laughs> this is the back, back scrubber, maybe is what it's called. It had on one side it has the microfiber texture of like the cloths. This side is the same texture that's on the back of the glove thing, the mitt. This is the same thing. It feels amazing in the shower to get your back. So like I go like this. That scrubbing part. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And this part is cleansing your back. So I have one of these. I'm still learning how to use it, <laughs> um, but it does feel amazing on the back. So I will like give it credit for that because it is such a great little um, I would, I'm exfoliator on your back because I can't necessarily reach my whole back with this one and definitely not this one. So I would say that it's pretty awesome for that. Um... This is obviously a toothbrush and a toothpaste. This is the new Lassier toothpaste. Love it. Love, love, love. Um, it's the whitening toothpaste. It is, I wonder if I can show you. So I use it every day, obviously. This is the only toothpaste I use now. It's actually grayish, 
Um, so it's going to have that activated charcoal in it, I believe. Yep. And um, it's a mint flavor. I love it. Love it. It doesn't leave a weird flavor or a weird texture afterwards, which is what I thought the previous um, toothpaste did. So I really like it. This is a Normix toothpaste, a toothbrush. It comes with this little plastic case. I love it in there. Um, cool thing about these, I will forever have this handle unless it breaks or I lose it. <laughs> And um, the head just pops out. So every six months you want to replace this. And then um, it just, it comes with a refill. If you order the toothbrush, you get one refill. And they recommend replacing it every six months, which your um, dentist or traditional toothbrushes, they recommend replacing every three months. Whew, lots of talking. But, um, so that's really nice. This um, is super easy to change. You just push on the back here, if I can try it, you just push on the back and it pops right out. And then you can pop it back in when you need to. Um, this is the kids toothpaste that they still carry. Um, this is the first one we've had and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Parker, she's seven and she's not a huge fan. It's strawberry flavored. She's more of a mint fan, I think. Um, she used it several times, obviously. it's It's been used a little bit but it's not something she reaches for unless she has to now. So, um, but they do have offer it. It's, it's safe. It's, you know, it doesn't have any of the harsh stuff where you have to be worried about them swallowing. Um, it's good for them and it obviously is going to be cleaning their teeth, but Parker is not a huge fan. I haven't tried it. Maybe I should try it. That's probably a good idea actually, but she's also like kind of like sensitive Nelly and some things. This is the hair wrap. I'm trying to keep this video under 15 minutes so people don't get bored. But this is the hair wrap. Um, and this is actually you probably want a demonstration. This is what I use to dry my hair. Parker and I, um, we don't wash our hair every day. I wash my hair maybe twice a week. Um, sometimes I try to go the whole week. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. But so it has a button on the back. The back... The button goes on the back, BB, and then um, the rope goes here. So this is how I do this. Obviously my hair would be wet, but you just take the button part, yeah, and then you fold it under here and get all of your hair inside, which is a lot easier when it's wet. And then I just twist it once or twice and then Find that ro uh, rope and then you pull it back and then fasten it and then it goes like that. And honestly, you only have to have this on for like three minutes. It's so absorbent. It's really great. It stays on really well. <laughs> and um, then once you're done, you just want to make sure you hang it. I wash this once every couple weeks, I guess. Whoa, craziness. And then, yeah, so it's really great. I love this thing. We share it, Parker and I do. So we only have one in our household. Another hack that I have for you guys is, this is the hand towel, one of the hand towels. This is the Ultra Plush hand towel, which they don't have right now. Hoping it's in like a new catalog or something. Maybe it'll come in 2021. That would be nice. It's a new year, we should have some fun like that. But. What I do with this, I just kind of thought about this. Parker, <coughs> excuse me. So take a hair tie. There was one time that my our hair wrap was in the laundry and so she had taken a shower. You just take this. My head's too big, so it would probably be good for kids. But I just took this for Parker. I went like this, took my hair tie and just flipped it up. This is not going to look great. <laughs> but for Parker, it worked awesome. It dried her whole head here. This stuff dried. She just walked around like this for a few minutes, which I know is not cute, but it worked in a pinch. And it's so absorbent. It's the same material that is in the hair wrap. Why not? So there's a little hack. <laughs> um, And then lastly, the... um. Norwex body or towels. They're like big towels. Bath towels. That's what they're called. 
Um, this is the very first towel that we got in December 2019. This is my very first Norwex product that was in our home. It is still in phenomenal condition. It's all the towels have a hook, like all the other things um, that you can hang it from, or it hangs really nicely too, just from the middle. You want to make sure you hang it in between using it so that the back lock can be activated and this doesn't get stinky and smelly. You want to launder it. You could launder it however, whenever you want. Sometimes I go two weeks, sometimes I wash it every week. It kind of like totally, or kind of totally just depends. So, but the texture's super soft. This is um, just, it's a multicolored one, obviously. And they're super nice, they're good size too. So they fit actual human beings. So, super nice. Anyway, this is, I think that's everything. For now. Okay, hang it tight or just continue to tune in and um, we'll, I'll make sure to show, share with you guys more things. All right, thank you guys so much. Bye.